Fox 16 crime alert. An employee at a Central Arkansas senior center under fire tonight after being arrested and charged with a DWI while driving a company car. Fox 16 Susan L. Corey is back from Cabot. And Susan, that's not the only thing this man is charged with. Is that right? Yeah, Kevin and Donna, police say this man not only crashed a Cabot senior center car, he tried to leave the scene and then he failed a breathalyzer. No cars coming or going. The Cabot Senior Center fleet in park for the night. I go two days a week. They have their exercise. It's these rides Marceline Weatherly relies on. We just move every part of our body. Shuttling her to and from the center. I won't have to worry about somebody coming, picking me up and taking me. The 89-year-old never questioned who was behind the wheel until now. It concerns me. They shouldn't be used like that. Here along Locust Street, the center's assistant director, Mike Hansen, is accused of crashing a center car, then trying to leave the scene. The spot just steps from Northside Elementary. Hansen was arrested and charged with a DWI. I trust Mike. I mean, I consider him a good friend. Uh... And I think he's a good driver. He has driven our bus some. Hansen was the only one in the car that day. Police records show he failed field sobriety tests and blew .2 on a breathalyzer, more than double the legal limit. It's unclear if he's still driving company cars. I don't have anything bad to say about Mike. I think he's a nice guy, and I trust he's driving. But Weatherly refuses to let this put the brakes on her weekly routine. I don't feel like it's something that happens regularly. Hansen is still listed as assistant director on the Senior Center's website. I went to his house. No one answered. I also reached out to the Lone Oak County Council on Aging, which runs the center, but haven't heard back from them. Back to you.